Hi, I'm Randy Robison. This is Life Today TV. I have Hercules with me. Kevin Sorbo is here. Hey, glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. What in the world are you doing here? I mean, you're, you're the guy on, what, Andromeda and Soul yeah. Surfer and, of course, Hercules for seven years. Um, and you're on a religious show. I'm doing, you know, I'm doing, I've been doing a lot of faith-based movies over the last four or five years. Why is that? Uh, well, I'm a Christian myself. I've got three little kids myself. I mean, yeah. this. I, I look at what's on television today, you know, and not to sound like some, you know, old <laughs> fart about it all, but <laughs> yeah, there's, it's, it's not like there's really great television for kids to watch. I mean, I've seen Two and a Half Men. I laugh. I've seen it before, but I don't want my kids watching that. Yeah. You know, there's the, and so I, I wanted to put some out some. I want to be part of something that they could enjoy as well and, and watch, and we could always watch as a family. And I, I think, I know, I look at a movie like Blindside. That came out was probably about four or five years ago now. Yeah. That is certainly considered a faith-based type of movie. And what, what, what's great with family value movies or faith-based movies today, they're not cheesy like they used to be. Right. That was the biggest thing that right. I didn't want to be part of. I said, number one, I said, I don't want to preach to the choir. We already have the choir that's already a member of the team. Mm -hmm. you know, let's, let's make movies that make people think a little bit, make mm -hmm. people you know, second guess maybe what their opinions are about God, Jesus, not believing, believing, whatever it may mm -hmm. be. Let's, let's do movies that have a good message and uh, you know, a good storyline and good acting and good, good writing and good camera work and good everything else. I mean, yeah. put together good products that can compete with Hollywood movies. Is that harder to do than just doing regular movies? Yeah. No, not, no, it's, it's, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, it, when I did, I did a movie called What If about four years ago um, with this company called Pure Flix out of, out of uh, Phoenix, yeah. Yeah. Scottsdale area. And you, know, you get on the set, it's the same as any other movie. Except, here's the difference, before every day started, there was always a prayer, which yeah. was sort of nice. Yeah. That you start the day with a prayer just to, just to make sure everybody has a good day and be blessed that we're working. And be who blessed who was the day. director on that one? Dallas Jenkins. Dallas Jenkins. It was Jerry Jenkins' son. Okay. Jerry Jenkins did the yeah. Left Behind series. And, uh, and that's available on Netflix right it's now, It's on right? Netflix. It's on, um, I'm sure you can get it on DVD through Amazon as well. Amazon, yeah. uh, but it, 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 it's a wonderful movie. It's actually the first script I've ever read in my entire, I mean, I did... Seven years of Hercules. I did five years of Andromeda. Mm -hmm. I've shot about 45 movies since, uh, since those series ended back in 2005. It's the first time I've ever read a script that I didn't want to change anything. Hmm. And, you know, usually I just have notes saying this doesn't make sense to me. or It's not that I want to, I want to totally erase what writers are writing, but I go, you know, there's a hole in the script. That just makes no sense why we jump from A to C, where it happened to be. Yeah. And this script I read straight through. I called Dallas. Initially, he just wanted me to read the script. I don't think he was even thinking of me for the part because he's a friend of mine. Oh, okay. I read it. And I called him and said, "Dallas, who's playing the part of the you know Pastor Ben?" And he said, "He goes, I don't know. I got this guy, this guy." I go, "What about me?" He goes, "Would you do this?" And I said, "I want to do it." He goes, "There's no money in this. There's, it's it's a very low. I mean, we shot it for like four hundred thousand dollars." Wow. And uh, I said, "I don't care. I want to be part of this." And it was such a, an amazing experience. We shot up in Michigan. They had a bigger tax credit going there. We shot in Grand Rapids in yeah. a little town called Manistee. Yeah. The people there were wonderful. And um, it, was, it was a great experience. And it had a limited theatrical release, which was nice. It made, uh, made more than its money back. And I think it made mm. three or four million in theaters. And uh, it's done even better on, on Netflix and DVD. So yeah. I get stopped all the time just yeah. from that one movie. I'll check know. it out for sure. I mean, I haven't seen it. I'm always looking for good stuff. Go to thewhatifmovie.com. Whatifmovie.com? It's a trailer, yeah. Thewhatifmovie.com. Okay. I'm just going to put it in my Netflix Beautiful. list, right? Thank you. Your new project. Tell me about that. I um, did a movie called God's Not Dead, mm -hmm. which opens in theaters March 21st, I believe it is. It's a Friday. It's March 21st or 22nd. You yep. can figure it out. And uh, it was interesting. It's from the same company, Pure Flix, that I did uh, What If with. And uh, it, it, it was interesting for me because I tell people, I've really got to act in this movie more than any other movie in my life. And they said, why? I said, because I have to play an atheist, and I'm not an atheist. <laughs> I play a, a college professor of philosophy. Well, you know, you, you weren't exactly a, a captain in, in a spaceship either, so. That's true, I wasn't. <laughs> right. That's right. true, I wasn't. But, okay, uh, so back, uh, back but, to yeah. I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, back, to segue a little bit, I was a big fan of Gene Roddenberry. So okay. this is the first show he created after Star Trek. Yeah, he actually wrote right. that series in yeah. 1969, so. When they offered it to me, I jumped on board in a hurry. I yeah. said, I get to be the second captain after Captain Kirk. I said, I'm in. Count there, me in. There you go. But God's Not Dead, it's, um, it's sort of like a, uh, it's like the movie Crash, but it's a faith-based version of Crash. Mm -hmm. We have four different stories going on, and they all connect together at the very end. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a reason why they're separate, and w then there's a reason why it makes sense why they meet each other at the end. But I play um, a professor of philosophy that tells my students, look, 
We're gonna, this is what the subjects we're covering over the semester. We're not going to deal with this part of the book that talks about God, because let's face it, God is dead. God never existed, blah, 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 blah. And I try to make all my students sign a piece of paper saying God is dead and write your name down there. One kid doesn't well, That's want to actually sign. been done, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People may hem and haw on this, but I mean, it has actually been done. This comes off of, 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 a, real, of, yeah. of, of a real person. We've had more than one college student come forward and say they've had this problem before at their own universities. Crazy. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Atheist college professors, really? Well, I thought that was the mm -hmm. place for open-mindedness and exploration, um, right? Yeah. yeah. No. It's pretty much like in the world I live in in Hollywood. There's, there's open-mindedness, but only if you agree with what they want to be open-minded about. I got it. Okay. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying so, that. <laughs> but um, but it's, it's a, I get challenged by this one student who refuses to sign the papers. And uh, he says, you know, I can prove the existence of God. So I actually challenge him. I say, I'll give you three weeks, one debate each week with the class. You can, you can have it. And you, you, you try to change people's minds. Hmm. And it's, um, it's an interesting, interesting little hmm. uh, storyline. Good. What's the website for that? So people can find that. Uh, you can just go to godsnotdead.com. It's God's as simple as that. And not only you get information on it, but you get information of where it's going to be showing in the theater near you. You can yeah. see the trailer on it. So it's, uh, it's all out there. Or if this is months down the road, you can find out where to get the DVD, find out exactly. if it's on Netflix yet or Amazon yep. on demand, anything like that. Yep. Good movie to check out. What do you do when you're not acting? Um, well, we homeschool my three kids. My wife's usually the champion of you that. You live in L.A.? I live about 40 miles north of L.A., an yeah. uh, area called uh, Thousand Oaks, beautiful yep. little area. It's in the mountains. And uh, uh, I never was really an L.A. guy. When I first moved there, as a single man, I lived in Santa Monica. I loved being near the beach and all. But, um, you You're know, from I'm, Minnesota, I'm, right? I'm from Minnesota originally, yeah. okay. uh, just outside of Minnesota. It's called a little called Mound. It's outside of Minneapolis called Mound, Minnesota. Mound came from the name of all the Indian burial grounds there, oh, the wow. Indian mounds, yeah. and uh, sacred ground, obviously. And uh, we were on the shores of Lake Minnetonka, and we were home to Tonka Toys. That's where they made Tonka Toys <laughs> in my little town. So now you're an L.A. guy. Uh, I've never been an L.A. guy, but I, I do live in California. <laughs> I, I tell people, you know, California's got its problems, but weather isn't one of them. True. But everything else, they got a lot of problems with. Yeah. So, yeah. But, um, you know, we're, th we're thinking about moving, actually. We're looking at Texas is actually a, a viable state for us. We're looking at Tennessee, and we're looking at Florida right now. You can make movies here. There's actually you can make, well, good you know movie scene. I've shot the bulk of my movies in either Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, Nashville, or I've been to Shreveport, Baton Rouge, <laughs> Hammond, and New Orleans. I've probably, sh I've probably shot 15 to 20 movies here in the last five years in these states. Well, good. Well, come on you know, down. So, you know, you'll pay less taxes, yeah. and you can. I know. <laughs> shorter trip to work. Is this what you're going to do? You're just going to keep making movies as long as you can? Well, I, you know, I just, I just sold um, a series to the Hallmark Channel, huh. and we're going to shoot the two-hour pilot up in Vancouver. So if it gets picked up, I'll be shooting there again. But it's up to the Hallmark, and it's up to the ratings of people out there if they're going to watch this, um, watch this uh, new pilot, new TV series. A name on it yet? Can it's you call, it? I can say it's, it's called Can't Get Arrested. Okay. And it's. Um, Certainly, it's Hallmark, so it's family fair. Mm -hmm. it's, kind of, it's, you know, the most comparable thing I'd tell for people that are older. Younger people probably won't know what this show was. was a show called Moonlighting, which, which was Bruce Willis and yep. back in the day with Sybil Shepard. And a very funny, very funny show. And it, it deals sort of in that world, kind of a romantic comedy. There you go. Lots of stuff to check out. Do you have a personal website? Uh, KevinSorbo.net. KevinSorbo.net. Mm -hmm. See what's going on and, and really support good and wholesome program, especially when, you know, it's got the production value of the stuff that he's doing. Um, and don't forget, he's on Life Today uh, with my dad and my mom, so check that out. That's at lifetoday.org. Kevin, we appreciate you sitting down with my us pleasure. and appreciate the work you're doing. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it.